What's up guys, Chozo Nomad here. You may notice that it's a little laggy right now. And that's because of this guy. Booyah. Four. I got four frames a second there. This guy is my new super tanker that I've made. The Megatherium class super tanker. Um... This was quite a lot of fun trying to get this into space. I'm not too good at making military vessels, so I'm just making this guy just for the fun of it. I, I, I was like, hmm, I wonder how big I can get something and get it into space. And this is the result. Now, I'm sure there are bigger ships out there, um, and people who are probably better at building ships than me. But I just did this for fun, and you know, let me take it, take you on a tour of it. Oh, that's it. That's up. Went down. There we go. Okay. And sorry about the light lagginess of this video. Um, I do only have a laptop, like you've heard me say before. And this ship is rather big. It's about 320 parts. It's got... A crew capacity of 19. It's got these little hitchhiker storage containers on the side. So it's got two on this side, two on the other side. It makes for 8 here, 16, 17, 18, 19. So th these ones on the side, these aren't, aren't really meant for uh, crew who are controlling the ship. They're more like observation platforms for people or kerbals just chilling out here in the hitchhiker containers. This is, this is the captain's chair here. If ever you're trying to build your own ships, uh, like your own super carriers or capital ships or something like that, the best piece of advice I can give you is keep it symmetrical. Don't try and add odd things to one side because that makes getting out of atmosphere about 3,000 times harder, if not impossible. Um, so yeah, that's the underside there. And then I'll show you the engines here. Boosh. That is a lot of engine power. I'm flying away from it very quickly. Get back here. So yeah, I've got... Let's see what I got. I got two skipper engines, one mainsail, and then eight... Why did I just turn randomly? Ah. I'm not very good at canceling relative velocity. Anyway, so I got eight nuclear engines, two skippers, and one mainsail. And the mainsail is definitely a little overpowered for space travel. Um, mainly I use this as part of the ascent stage to get this out of atmosphere. And yes, I got this out of atmosphere legitimately. Um, we'll see that later in the video. But yeah, so it's got all these guys here. Uh, and it's best whenever you're leaving the atmosphere to shut the gimbal on the skippers and the mainsail off. Because it tends to wobble a lot. And as big as this ship is, it's unfortunately not too terribly robust. Um, I had to do a lot of tweaking and a lot of struts added in certain parts to keep this thing happy. Alright, with that, we're going to switch to launching this thing into space. Woohoo! It's going to be a pretty quick video, or quick launch, because uh, I had to speed it up. Otherwise, it would take about a half hour to do everything. Uh, you're going to notice here in a little bit the bug I have with my launching system. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out a way to fix it. And... Bink! The tanks closest to you, for some reason, don't drain as fast as the tanks away from you. And I've tried rerouting the fuel lines and everything, and I cannot figure out how to fix this. So if you ever download this, uh, maybe you can figure it out for me and help me out here. Uh, other than that, fairly straightforward launch. Uh, you'll notice here that the all the engines of the main ship itself had to kick in to help with, you know, bumping this thing out into space. Uh, use the mainsail only for about two to three seconds to maintain your acceleration, otherwise you're going to eat a massive amount of fuel. And so I just let drop off those outer tanks right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, oh, also make sure to turn on the RCS around 3,500 meters above sea level. Uh, just to make sure you stay stable. And then you can turn it off once you hit space. Um, 
once you get to push your Apple apps out to about sixty to eighty thousand, even a hundred thousand uh, meters, be sure to kill your skipper engines to save even more fuel because the logistics for the ship are going to be a nightmare to try and refuel it. Um, I've thought about just hyper editing a giant fuel tank in next to it so I can don't have to go through it all. But you know, that's yeah, I think that's a little bit like cheating. Once I do it on my own by myself, you know, maybe then I can do it later. But until that point, you know. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to circulize it and push it out and then burn off the last bit of fuel here in these outer tanks and now the ship is completely under its own power. And the only thing I'm using are the nuclear engines because this thing would just drop fuel like crazy if I didn't. So here it is, just a little bit further, a little bit further. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Sweet, we have achieved orbit. And it's mostly circularized. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now because I'm going to have to go through logistics and the fun of refueling it later on. Uh, one other thing that you have to do uh, once you get this guy into space is you have to take the Kerbal that's in the port uh, cockpit and switch him over to the center one. For some reason, whenever you launch it, it puts him in the farthest one to the left. Uh, most likely because it thinks it's a plane and it, otherwise it's not happy. So yeah, you just gotta take him out and switch him to the center one here. That way your nav ball makes sense and you can actually, you know, pilot it properly. Without looking weird. So other than that, uh this guy is now the captain of Oh wait, 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 hey, we need to name this guy. So I'm gonna let you guys name this one. Uh all six of my viewers or whatever out there. So just leave your uh suggestions for the name in the comments below. I'll see which one I like the best, and that's what this one will be named. This has been Chozo Nomad, and I'll see you next time.